All right, so what are we gonna be talking about today, guys? Yes, yeah, Sergio, yeah, what's up? Well, we're mainly gonna talk about what to expect for YCS Portland this upcoming weekend. Uh, we're all gonna be there. But yeah, so so UDS and the PPG just passed, and there's a new meta. New meta. Um, the meta has been established. So new uh, top decks, right? Yeah, it's kind of the same. What's uh, the meta, by the way? It's sorry, guys. It's kind of the same. Th <laughs> Thunder, Thunder won the UDS. Pure Thunder, and uh, Orcus got second place on that, and Orcus won the PPG. So. Uh, like if you looked at the top tables, it was Thunder, Orcus, Salad Mangret, and Sky Striker. Sky Striker still. Somehow Sky Striker oh, still managed. I cannot believe that. Sky oh, Striker gosh. was one multi roll. Somehow a deck that opens up three ray, I don't know. one multi roll, one afterburner going first, is still managed. They get, they get Ghost Ogre and that's it. That's and then you get a Ghost Ogre on multi roll oh, and you do. But I thought, I thought you used to play Esteban. I thought you used to play that yes, deck. Sky Striker actually gave me a top. The good Sky Striker deck yes. gave me a top. But now you don't play it. Yeah. So what it happened? It doesn't have three of the best cards. Yep. So so you're still kind of like in that phase where you're like, wow, I don't I, I don't even know how that deck tops, right? I'm, I'm every time I see that deck topping, I'm thinking how. Uh, so another control deck that's up there is Salamangrid. Um, any thoughts on Salamangrid? <laughs> if it can do the combo turn one, it's still the same deck as before. Yep. Because you keep recycling the one gazelle every single time. Yep. Every every turn you have the same gazelle. Good. <laughs> I think mean, Salamangre is still good. Salamangre, they probably still play a lot of hand traps and traps, so and that's also, why. And, they, and then they have signed in mining. And they're like a one card combo, right? The Salamangre. If they have gazelle or... Yeah, it's just gazelle. They just, just need with the gazelle or Lady the Deepa. sign it. Sign in, sign in mine. What was the name of the spell? Sign in mine, yeah. That one. They just need either Coconut with either with those cards. Yep. They just tumble off. Let's talk about Thunder. So, Thunder, I don't yeah, know. I don't wanna like it. I don't know how Thunder won Pure Thunder. Like, there's a lot of Super Polys going around in side decks. The Pure Thunder has maybe one or two plays. Like, if you do Battery Man, Solar, and that's like your only normal summon. Maybe they just played a lot of Sky Striker matchups. That's probably it. Maybe. Maybe. That, that could, could be, be it. it. And they also didn't get they also didn't get hit that much in the balance, right? No, they still have all those thunder monsters. But pure, yeah. pure thunder is not like explosive unless if you have like a really good hand. But but they get to play hand traps. That's a difference. Uh, I, I honestly I kinda like it. I, I like it, I like it. And the fusion does also surge in a way. It's a surge. Right. So maybe. Well, That's true. Well at least Thunder Dragon. Pure Thunder Dragon, yes. unlike full combo decks, they can afford to play some hand traps. Yeah. Because with full combo decks, or like Thunder Dragon, Guard Dragon, Crusadia, Danger thing, you have to play 40 extenders and that's it. Yep. And Thunder Dragon can go first or second. And combo decks can't go second because you gave away the game to another combo deck that went first. Yeah, but, uh, but Orcus. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I'm an Orcus player. I, I knew Orcus was so good, but uh, I see a lot of variations with Orcus. Some some people are like Orcus Warrior, Dark Warrior Orcus, and then and then like there's the Guard Dragon Orcus, and then so. It's, what are you playing? <laughs> I'm playing like a Guard De Dragon Orcus type of thing. Oh, okay, so that, that so that's what you're gonna be taking over over to uh, Portland. Yeah. Nice. You have to play Guard Dragons. Why would you not play Guard Dragon? Yeah, yeah, Especially right now that the Meteor card is not out. If you're, yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you're playing a combo deck, it has to be most likely Guard Dragon related. Or just play Control. <laughs> it's just too free. Guard Dragons, I don't know when they're going to get banned, but until then, everybody's going to play Guard Dragons. I would say it's like, it's like a I'll play Draco. No, I, so, I don't, I don't care. I'll play Draco. 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 So expect, it just expect those four main decks. Uh, uh, honorable mentions are maybe True Draco, maybe Altergeist, Altergeist. Uh, of course, Pendulum. Oh, Pendulum? Oh, yeah, so Pendulum. Pendulum's interesting because... They have the best link e e in the format. Everyone, <laughs> expects, <laughs> everyone yeah. expected Pendulum to be like super high in representation, but unfortunately, I guess that's not true. Why do you think that is? I think Pendulum... It's easy to pick up really easily 
but not a lot of people know how to play it like to its full potential. Yeah, they probably just yeah. like make That's true. make plays carelessly or without yeah, the, thinking it through. Yes, and you, then they just die. It's also really easy to make careless plays in Pendulum, get ogre at the wrong time, and you don't have a next play. And you're not even thinking about the ogre or the gamma, and then yeah. you lose your electromite. You didn't add the scale you needed to have just in case you get ogre or gamma, and then you pass and you die. So I think that's what it is. Also, people always think about all the hate that's for Pendulum and the side decks. And it can get scary because there's like, I can think of 30 cards that are good against Pendulum. So I think that's why people don't want to play it because there's so much side deck against Pendulum. Mm -hmm. Also, you can't play hand traps. You have to play all Pendulums. Yeah. So when you go second, most likely you lost. So you give away game one if you lose the tie roll. Talk about siding. Uh, siding against control like Salamangre or Ultra, Ultra Guys. Red Reboot is still pretty hot, Twin Twisters, Panga Chops. Question is, what, what do you guys think about the uh, Super Poly? Because I believe like now everybody knows how to play around it, like right now. Uh, in this well, some people don't. Some people don't. What? Yeah. Really? I'm talking about like YCS tournament level. Not yeah, like, yeah. A, not like a, uh, like a local <laughs> tournament. You know, like if, if you're playing Thunder, it's pretty hard to uh, make a good board and play around Super Poly. It's just like not really possible. No, Salaman Green. I'm talking about Salaman Green. For, for example, Salaman Green. Oh, Salaman Green? Salaman Green. You just normally make the link, the link to monster and then dwell there and that's it. That's it. But that's like, they're wasting three cards just to make the the fusion guy, right? But they have dweller. You're going to live. You're going to survive. Yep. yep. Plus yeah, they the super poly you. Plus the back row. And they can always come back because they can recycle everything. Yep, yep. Yeah. How high is the expectation on... Uh, so you on think Salamangri can yep. win? Yep. Yeah, maybe. They can yep. do good? Maybe people yep. are like... Maybe people are like... Orcus is probably... Uh, Orcus and Thunder are probably like the top decks and they might forget about Salamangri. So don't forget about Salamangri. Side for it. Yep. It has a great matchup against Thunder Dragon. Against yep. Pure Thunder Dragon. Yep. So if Pure Thunder Dragon is a top deck like it looks, Salamangri can do pretty good. The yeah. only the only thing that I for, if you're a Salamangri player and you're going second against like Orkist, even with like their basic combo, they they can crescendo your Kazel. And, and yeah. That's it. But like, you have enough extenders. If you have a good hand. Yeah. You so. can you could do stuff. Yep. In Salamangri. You just need to open up like ideal. But if it's a weak hand crescendo your one Gazel. That would be game. Doing like a raffle giveaway. Oh, let's just go give away for fans. He's yeah. the one that does the raffles. Oh yeah. What doing, do we have, uh, Carlos? We're doing raffles. Let's well, just give, do the giveaways. We're gonna give away uh, two packs pro of edition? Our new pro editions, right? Oh, yeah. the nice ones with the box. The nice one, yes. In the inner color. Yep. Hey, we're, what about the white ones with the red? All right, we'll do three. We'll do three. Oh damn. Okay. Oops. Okay. So, so, okay. so, like a reminder again. Uh, what's so special about the white ones that we have? That's the limited edition. One. That's the limited edition one. They have like this inner, the inner white color. Yeah. Let me just show you. So, let me just open one because I don't have a space for my for my true Draco deck. So, I use this. So this is the inner white color. This is like the limited edition one. Right? Yeah, so, so it's white on the outer and then inside it's uh, inner wine, right? Yeah, nice. there's a new formula. There's an improved formula. Perfect yeah. shuffle. Perfect shuffle, yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of good reviews with, with our, yep. new, our new uh, sleeves. Yeah, it's been uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, good reviews on it. So yep. you, should get, you guys should get pick up one and see how, how you guys like it. Yeah, we call that. Yeah, so this is our new release. And this guy right here is my favorite two monster. It's a detail. This guy. That's my favorite two monster. Hey, is that Minerva? Oh, Minerva. Oh, it looks like Minerva. That hey. is two Minerva. Two Minerva. Hey. Dark Magician. Nice, like always. And then Dark Magician. And Arcana, yeah. Dark Magician. Arcana. Yeah, so this is up for giveaway, but if you actually want to purchase it yourself, you can do so now at our website. All right, so how do we enter this giveaway? So all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're already subscribed, you're good. The second step is comment who you think is going to be in the finals for the YCS Portland uh, tournament. And, and we'll just raffle. We'll and, make a raffle. Yeah, we'll make a raffle. Of everybody that left a comment. Yep. Sim as simple as that.